Welcome to my short presentation. I'm Anne-Marieke Degen, and today I will be talking about paleointensity.org. Paleointensity.org is an online application to analyze your paleointensity data. We will be going through the website and upload some data. So this is the homepage of the website, and you can find our paper in Gcubed. On the Analyzes page, you can start analyzing your data. There are currently four supported methods. You have the thermal TA, microwave TA, pseudo TA, and the multi-specimen protocol. On the right here, you have your results tab, the magic tab, and the settings tab. If you want to import some files, you can either click here or drag and drop some files. You can have one file selected, or you can select multiple files. Here I selected Talier 2 files, and they're all the same format, so I could use the button on the right. I have to input some additional information here. Select the moment of mechanization, import the volume, and import the files. If the import is successful, I get a pop-up. If not, you get an error message stating what's wrong. In the manage stage, you can see your size, samples, specimen, measurements, and the details of your measurements. At the bottom here, you can interpret your sample. Think. Select the site, select the specimen, and you'll get your graphs. Here you have your IRAD plot, and you see the best fit line in here. On the left here, you have your temperature steps, cytosol diagram, equal area, and a mechanization plot. On the bottom here, you have your paleo intensity number and your selection criteria. You can change these selection criteria under the settings tab. If you deselect temperature steps, the best fit line and the selection criteria will be automatically updated. You can see this also here in the frac becomes red at some point because it doesn't fulfill the selection criteria anymore. You can either save this interpretation by clicking the save button, it will be added here, or you could run the auto interpreter, which will give you all the interpretations for this specimen. To export the specimen, you can go to the results tab to export the results. Here you have to select for which specimen, which sites you would like to do that. Currently, we only have this one interpret. So we have 12 interpretations. You could export your interpretation to a CSV file or export the specimen data to a CSV file. Another option would be to go to the magic tab. Here you can export magic files. Clicking this button will give me a folder in my downloads where I can find the five data files I need to upload to MAGIC. On the About page, you can find more about the team that developed the website. You can find a link to our source code and information on our input formats. If you have any questions about the website or if you want to have a chat, please come to my poster or contact me.